In this tutorial, we show you how to use Mantaflow to create a liquid simulation that looks like Minecraft water. Anyways, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. All right, let's create the Minecraft effect of blocky water. So we're gonna select this over here, press object, uh, quick effects, quick liquid. Select all of this, press G, Z, four. And all right. Now the next thing we're gonna do is add our main object in the scene. And for this, I am gonna use, you can either use a plane or a grid. In this case, I'll use a plane and I will press S2. I'll select this liquid domain and I'll press S shift Z two. And then I'll select this over here. And what I'll do, currently I've got it on wireframe and X-ray. That's why it's, it's, otherwise we'll just see this. That's why we have it on that. And now we'll add a modifier subdivision surface simple let's put this on level six make sure it renders out on level six and then we can add a displacement and we will use a cloud displacement numpad one we could mess with the intensity Perhaps something like this should be fine. And then we go back over here and we could mess with the strength if we like. But I'm quite happy with that. Next thing we want to do is press tab to go into edit mode. With the bottom selected, press three to choose the bottom face. And press E to extrude. about three blocks then choose the top face go over here and create a vertex group and click assign and go back to your modifiers and make sure you're only using that vertex group to for the displacement so when you press tab to go into object mode it will hopefully look a lot better and you can mess with the strength to create an interesting shape but we'll leave it on one for now you can also mess with the mid-level if needs be but I'll leave it on 0 0.5. Now that we've done that, the next thing we can do is add remesh blocks. And this is the Minecraft effect. So we could perhaps put this on, I wouldn't go higher than, well, you can choose what it, it can go as high as you like for more detail. I'm just gonna put on six in this example because that's plenty of detail and you can see the terrain. Tap to go into, okay, wait, now that we've done that, I'm pad one, G, X, G, Z, sorry, G, Z, three, G, Z, three, G, there we go. Now that we've added a remesh symbol, we're also gonna add physics property called fluid effector collision is correct and if you want you can increase the sampling sub steps but it's not really needed now one thing to pay attention to the size of this cube should ideally be the same size as this cube but if you've got a potato PC just get it as close as you can I'm gonna put this at 128 And if it's even smaller, it's also be interesting and better. That's more, that's slightly smaller. Okay, that's perfect. And then this is in our liquid domain. And now we're also gonna make this show it's resumable. It takes a while to realize I clicked resumable, which is crucial. La, da, 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 da. And make sure you change this to all and turn on mesh and Things, everything else is optional. And 
and I'll just kind of leave it as is. The next thing, now that we've got the next thing to work out is this. Currently it's set to geometry, let's change it to inflow. So it just keeps on pouring liquid. And let's change the size to make it a lot smaller. S0.2. And numpad 1, G, I think I want to just last it over here. Put it over there and we should see the effect perhaps we want to make it s 0 0.5 something really s 0 0.5 perhaps we want to make it as big as this more or less okay there you have it so now we want to see how this will look Okay, now we can go to our liquid domain and to test this out, we're going to bake this in. And once it gets to frame two, we're going to press escape just to make sure the um, Mantaflow animation is working. So it just takes a little while. And if it's working, we'll recontinue it and I'll see you after it is done. Okay, there we go, it says frame two, so I press this, go over here and I press escape. Once my computer registers what's going on. It says it's canceling. <coughs> now that it's canceled, we can see that it's working because that's the liquid domain now it's this small thing because it's working i'm just going to press resume and i'll see you after it's baked fully to take you to the next step all right so i've rendered this out for about 104 frames let's, let's make it end at 104 and let's make this animation end at 104 and this is kind of what we have at the moment now the next thing you want to do now that we've created this uh, liquid particle we have to add something after this which would be you guessed it the remesh tool click on blocks and we just want to increase the voxel amount here There we go, we'll put it on to about seven. And now when we go back to keyframe one and we press play, let's pause. Let's change to render view. Or solid view. We can see it work in action just like that, which is pretty cool. And obviously you can just color this in and do what you like. But yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.